there is a, a, a small community of people that have these devices implanted. How many people know this? Um, I would say a hundred or so, 150 maybe. Mostly um, in England or other countries? Uh, a, a fair few in the States, um, some in England. Um, there's, um, it's sort of scattered over, over the world. Um, there's a few from America that I've met who, they're just normal people, um, if, if, if that's the right word. They're just everyday people who saw it as an opportunity to change their relationship with technology in a way that benefits them. Um, so one guy that I, I know very well called Amal Grafstra um, implanted a device in each hand and he uses it to start his motorbike, to get into his office, to access his home, uh, and he finds it very useful. And he didn't do it because he thought he was enhancing himself, he didn't do it because um, he thought um, it would impress anyone, he just did it because he saw that it was an opportunity to use technology in a different way to his advantage. Of all these like 100 people more or less that uh, have uh, an implant, uh, how is the gender balance? Are mostly men, mostly women, mixed, uh, like how is that? Um, in my experience, it's mostly men. Um, I do know of some cases where the um, the uh, the man has had one, and his girlfriend has subsequently had them as well. Um, I, I'm not sure how willingly she she had it. Um, reasonably, I think he certainly didn't force her to um, uh, into anything she didn't want to do. But um, I'm not sure that it's something that she would have initiated on her own. Um, so by the time he'd had his chip and the house had a reader and the, the motorbike and the car had a reader, it then became very sensible for her to have one as well. Um, but typically I find that the drive is from, from the men. Do you think there is any reason behind it or, or not really? Um, I think we're looking at a very, very small community of people and we're typically looking at a, a very... Um, I'm reluctant to use the word geeky, but a very technologically orientated group of people. And typically, historically, that's always been men. Um, and it's a small section of this group of um, technology enthusiasts, who are largely men anyway, looking at, well, okay, implantable technologies, I would like to do something with that. So out of a large group of men, it's a smaller group of, of men typically. Um, I think women have always been the minority in, in that, that community.